Hi there, and welcome to this week's edition of Top End Track Talk. I'm Andrew O'Toole, and today we'll be having a look at the upcoming Wednesday meeting here in Darwin, which is set down for the 13th of February. It's the first of some five Wednesday meetings to be held in the Top End during the months of February, March and April. There'll be two Wednesdays in March and another two in April to go along with this meeting in February. With Alice Springs ramping up the number of Saturday meetings as the Red Centre Carnival gets ever closer, the Darwin Turf Club is trying the Wednesday fixtures, which are replacing the Friday meetings held last year during this period. Some 36 horses have been entered for this Wednesday's meeting, with a couple of each way betting affairs and some tricky contests to sort out. The first race gets underway at the late time of 3.45 p.m. And in that event, the Mantra Handicap, my numbers are 2, 3, 7 and 1. Going here with number two, Desiri on top from the all-conquering Gary Clark stable and Kim Gladwin in the saddle. Really like the uh, effort of this horse last time out in zero to 64 grade. Finished a good third behind sprinting to win. Drops back in grade uh, on Wednesday to the zero to 58. And I think from barrier two, and in not the strongest field I've ever seen, I think Desiri will take a power of beating. Got it on top, number two, ahead of the stable mate, uh, number three, Son of a Fling. Carl Spry takes the mount for Clarkey here. Uh, this horse has been racing consistently without winning. Uh, his last start for fourth behind Miazza was pretty good. I think he'll race well. In for third, the maiden quicker than slick, Sonia Wiseman for Phil Cole. Didn't mind the way this horse got home the other day behind Amigo Mio. And my fourth selection, number one, looking for you. The only question mark for me here is the 1300 metres. Two, three, seven and one in the first. The second, the NT News Handicap, it's a 0-64 event, it's over 1,200 metres. My numbers here, 1, 5, 4 and 2. I think he could be in for a pretty good day, trainer rider Carl Spry, and he, I've got his horse on top here, Mavericks, number 1. Really good second uh, behind Delta Dior last time out. Uh, that was uh, a fresh run, it hadn't raced for four weeks, and I think should be improved by that. The former NT Guineas winner as a three-year-old, he's a seven-year-old now. He's won 183,000, and he's racing as well as he probably ever has. Carl Spry trains and rides, as we mentioned, I've got him on top. To beat number five, Mason County, from the stable of Jason Manning. Vanessa Arnott, as usual, takes the mount. Consistent galloper, this one's won 86,000 now. Five wins, seven seconds, three thirds. Good third last time out behind Hat and Man, and as I mentioned, very consistent type. In for third, number four, and that's Lindwall, a stable mate of Mavericks. Matty Hart takes them out here for trainer Carl Spry. My fourth selection, number two, let's celebrate. Those numbers, one, five, four, and two in the second. The third's the Allura Gardens Nursery Class 2 Handicap. It's for the three and four year olds and it's over the 1200 metres. I'm going here with four, one, two and five. Number four on top for me, the resuming Our Great Northern. Hasn't raced since uh, mid-November, but this three year old's got uh, good ability. Jared Todd takes them out for Phil Cole. Uh, his last uh, couple of efforts were good behind making the grade and Murphy and with a bit of a freshen up, uh, I think he'll take a power of beating. Number four on top for me, head of number one, Bonaire. Carl Spry again trains and rides. Uh, this one is fresh up, hasn't raced since Melbourne Cup Day. He was a winner two starts back. He's uh, a pretty consistent type. This uh, four-year-old was purchased out of the tried horse sale in Alice Springs uh, last year by uh, Carl and uh, uh, members of his uh, ownership group, and I think he'll race well. In for third, number two, Madame Duporth. Uh, good win, deserved win last time out. Paul Denton for Kerry Patrick. <coughs> Excuse me, probably the only question mark is the 1,200 metres. It was 1,000 last time out. Uh, and the 1,200 probably uh, might just stretch her out, but I've got her in to run third. My fourth selection, number five, and that is Joker Poker. Four, one, two, and five in the third. The fourth, the Women in Thoroughbred Racing NT Handicap. It's a 0 to 76, the highest graded race of the day. It's over the 1100 metres. 3, 1, 6 and 4 are my numbers here. He's racing uh, very consistently, number 3, Dark Whirlwind. Uh, Jared Todd for Shane Clark. His form is exemplary. Uh, three wins in a couple of seconds, his last five starts. He finished second to Neat Feet, beating a, a pimple last time out in the uh, benchmark 76 here on Australia Day. And he only has to reproduce that performance and he'll be winning this. Number three on top for me, clearly. Head of number one, Brooklyn. Uh, Carl Spry again rides and trains. And uh, this horse uh, finished fifth in the same race behind Neat Feet. But uh, he was fresh up on that occasion. I think he'll derive good improvement from that run. And he's probably uh, the horse that Dark Whirlwind has to beat. In for third, number six, sprinting to win. A uh, good winner. First up on the track for Sean Raines uh, last time out. Barry Huppert's uh, aboard again. That was on the 2nd of February. 
uh, beating Iron Lotus uh, by a very narrow margin on that occasion. He'll race well again. And my fourth selection, Needy Rocket, David Bates back in the training ranks after a small uh, holiday. Uh, my numbers three, one, six and four. The last on uh, Wednesday is the Hot 100 Handicap. It's over 1,600 metres. Good field here too for the 0-64 to 64 event. And my numbers here, 5, 4, 1 and 6. I'm going here with number 5, Rocheville, to complete a pretty good day for Carl Spry, I think. Uh, Carl takes them out and trains Rocheville. He's looking for a uh, hat-trick of wins. He's won his last... Uh, Two, one on Melbourne Cup Day and one on the 2nd of February. Uh, last start was 1,300 metres. The step up to the mile won't worry him. He won at 1,600 metres the previous outing. And uh, I like his chances here from the one gate. Number five on top for me, Rocheville. Ahead of the obvious danger, number four, Moore Alpha. Uh, Jared Todd for Phil Cole. Racing very consistently, this um, former Heather Lehman train galloper. He was third last time to Marble Duke, second the start before to Loopy Bend. Uh, and he's um, certainly right in this. My third selection, number one, look at him go. He's won 12 races, look at him go. He only has to put his best foot forward and he'll be competitive. He is a nine-year-old now. Ray Viger takes the mount for Chris Pollard. And in for fourth, number six, and that is Taciturn. Never goes a bad race for Gary Clark, Kim Gladwin aboard. Those numbers, five, four, one, and six in the last. Uh, my best bet in Darwin uh, this Wednesday, race four, number three, Dark Whirlwind. Race four, number three, Dark Whirlwind. He's certainly uh, racing as well as any horse in the top end at the present time. While my best roughie comes up in the first, I'm going here with number six, Dinoxy, having its second start in Darwin after... Uh, uh, doing most of its uh, earlier racing in Alice Springs. I didn't mind its first up run, and uh, we've seen horses improve pretty quick off their first up run in the top end. That wraps up this edition of Top End Track Talk, but we'll be back for our next meeting here in the top end, and that is Saturday the 23rd of February, so Saturday week, so another weekend off for uh, all the good people uh, here at the Turf Club. In the meantime, good luck and good punting.